Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Polaric coming out with a brand new video and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the ultimate mouse optimization guide for Windows and gaming. This guide is going to ensure that you have a true one-to-one -one mouse to point of precision and making sure that your movements inside Windows and gaming is going to be a true one-to-one -one response. This is also going to make sure that your mouse is not inputting or outputting any information or movements that you have not instructed it to. Um, but yeah, this guide should also fix any lag or stuttering that you could be having with your mouse or any issues that uh, you have with your mouse in general. This guide is super important for you hardcore gamers and competitive players because this is going to allow you to use your raw input to get the best accuracy. This is also one of the very first things I do when I install Windows on a new PC or after an update. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Alrighty guys, and the first thing we want to go ahead and do is search mouse in the bottom left. Once you're here, you can go, ahead and to go to additional mouse options. We're going to be using this tab right here. So go ahead and close that out. So we can go to pointer options. We're going to go ahead and slide this all the way to the left. Go ahead and use your arrow keys on your keyboard and uh, click five times to the right. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. This is going to put us at the six out of 11 mark. Um, this is going to allow us to have the best one-to-one -one response within Windows, and it's going to be the most accurate. Um, the next thing we want to go ahead and do is disable and uncheck this enhanced point of precision. This is going to manually turn off the mouse acceleration within Windows. Um, if you guys don't know what mouse acceleration is, basically, it's a function that allows you to accelerate your movements um, within Windows while browsing or gaming. Um, when you're doing a large flick or a fast flick. Uh, we do not want this for competitive gamers or anyone trying to get into esports because this is going to add extra input and it's not going to be your raw input that you want, meaning that you're not going to be as accurate. So after that, we want to go ahead and click apply. We can go ahead and click OK and then we're going to go ahead and go to this next trick. All right, for this next trick, we're going to go ahead and go to a link I have down in the description. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. So at, once we're here, we're going to go ahead and go to this link right here. Uh, don't use this one that's crossed out. We're going to go ahead and use the mirror at onedrive.com. Go ahead and click that. It should start downloading. Once it starts downloading, what we want to do is we're going to drag that onto our desktop. Then we can go ahead and close out this tab. And before we do anything else, let's go ahead and make a folder real quick. So go ahead and right click on your desktop, click new folder. I'm going to name this mouse. All right, and once we're here, drag this WinWar file into there. And if you don't have WinWar or 7-Zip already, make sure you go ahead and download that as well um, so you can do this part. And um, once you're here, you can go ahead and click uh, right-click on it, click Extract here. All right, now that this is all extracted, you can see the different options we have. We're going to go ahead and go to Windows 10 fixes. Uh, make sure you click on the Windows version that you are running. So if you're running a Windows 7, you click this one, 8 here, and then 10, and then XP plus Vista, you click here. I am personally running Windows 10. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And then now you're going to see all these different options. So for me, uh, this is based off of your scaling, your Windows display scaling. So to check this, you want to go ahead and right click on your desktop, go to display settings. So you can see for me, I have 100% scaling. Uh, this is going to be the most normal and make sure you don't change this if you have been perfectly fine with everything. Um, but yeah guys, make sure you remember what this is once you're here. You want to look and see which one is the correct scaling for your um, windows. So for me, you can kind of just highlight over them or you can right click on them and then you can see like add to. Um, I have this one is going to be the 100% scaling as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and click this one, click yes, click yes again, and then it's going to say it changed everything and it successfully added it to the registry. Go ahead and click OK and then we can go ahead and close out of that. All right, now the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and make sure that mouse acceleration is turned off within the games that we are playing. So for most games, you can turn this off in the settings within the game. Um, for Fortnite, though, uh, which is what I play, uh, you do have to go ahead and turn it off in a certain config folder. Um, in most games, you can go to the settings and turn it off there. So if you do see a setting that looks like raw input, make sure that is turned on or hardware acceleration. I'm sorry, mouse acceleration, you want to turn that off as well. So for Fortnite specifically, we're going to go ahead and search percent app data. Go ahead and click enter. Go to app data, local. We're looking for Fortnite game. Saved. 
config, Windows client, game user settings. Once we're here, we're looking for B disable mouse acceleration. Let's see, let's believe it should be B disable mouse acceleration. So it's disable mouse acceleration. We want to change this to true so that it is disabled. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click save. Another thing you want to make sure if it doesn't let you save, make sure that you do right click on properties and that it you uncheck read only, click apply, okay, okay, and then double check and make sure that it is saved um, just to make sure that it is running right. So be disabled mass acceleration is true. Perfect. And that should be it for this trick. Let's keep going. And so the next thing we want to go ahead and do to make sure that we are getting a true one to one response while gaming is we're going to go ahead and download a program called timer resolution. Um, I did show this in one of my other videos if you haven't done it already. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to put this link down in the description. You want to go ahead and go to this link. Basically, this program is going to give us a true one to one response and it's going to take away any delay that you have. And it's going to also give you a slight FPS boost. We want to go ahead and download this file. Uh, this website is completely safe. It's just a small file uh, with the, uh, the application and it's just going to speed up and make sure that your Windows code is running as fast as possible. So now that we're here, we can go ahead and drag this onto the desktop and go ahead and close that tab out. And then we can go ahead and click extract here. This is going to go ahead and extract this folder right here. You can go ahead and open this up. You can drag the timer resolution onto the desktop, close this out, and then these two folders you can go ahead and throw away. And now that we have timer resolution, we want to go ahead and right click it, run as administrator, click yes. And as you can see, we have the current resolution is running at about one millisecond, and we want to go ahead and click maximum. So this is going to cut that in half. And you want to make sure this stays while you're run, uh, stays open while you're running. So go ahead and just minimize this while you're playing. Play for as long as you'd like, and it's going to make sure that you are getting a slight FPS boost, and there's going to be no delay in your gameplay and your mouse precision. Another thing I want to address while going over certain uh, mouse optimizations is DPI and refresh rate. So if you don't have this already, um, this is my specific software for my Logitech mouse. Um, there should be some for Razer and other mouses. Um, if you do have this, perfect. If you don't, that's perfectly okay as well. Um, but if you do, you make sure you want to take advantage of this. So for DPI is going to be dots per inch. This is basically the same thing as sensitivity, except this is how your sensor reads. Um, sensitivity your dots per inch is translated with your sensitivity in game um, your dots per inch is simply your sensor so this really doesn't matter i recommend playing on a 400 or 800 as these are the most common you can compare your sensitivities with more people um but for report rate or refresh rate you want to set this to either 500 or a thousand um, most people play 500 or 1000 um, just because it is the most smooth and is how fast your mouse reports information to your computer. So if you're playing on a 1000 refresh rate, that's quick one to one speeds. Um, but I have seen people playing on 500 and they don't notice a difference. Um, but 500, if you are playing with a wireless mouse, um, assuming you play with batteries, will save you a lot of batteries in the future and you will have almost the exact same one to one response. Um, so yeah guys, if you, batteries is not uh, a problem for you, um, I would be playing on a thousand, either 400 or 800 DPI, and then I have mine on performance mode. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, if you still are having issues after this guide with your mouse, whether it's stuttering, um, it's connecting and then disconnecting, make sure you have your mouse drivers updated and you can check this in device manager. Um, you can also check this in your software if you have like a Razer or Logitech mouse, make sure you check for updates there as well. So you just go to mouse and then you can select which mouse and then just click update driver. Um, another thing you can do is make sure you have your mouse plugged into a USB 3.0 slot. And these slots are going to allow for better res uh, responsiveness and basically they're a newer slot and that you should try them out if you aren't using them. Um, one last thing, if you still are having issues, is make sure you don't have any USB um, USB devices plugged into your computer that aren't necessary while you're gaming. So sometimes I'll use my webcam, but not all the time. So I'll leave that unplugged while I'm not gaming, or while I am gaming, sorry. And that'll help me get a, a better one-to-one -one response as it's taking some um, stress off my processor and my computer. 
Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much been it for the video. I appreciate all of you watching. And if you guys want to go ahead and support me, make sure you leave a like, a sub, a comment. Let me know how this helped you. Um, if your game feels a little bit better, feels a little bit smoother, I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all of you watching. And if you guys want to support me, make sure you are using code Polaric in the Fortnite item shop. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you need any help, reach out to me on Twitter. I'll leave that down in the description as well. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I appreciate all of you watching. It's been your boy Polaric. Peace.